today i am here to discuss about the structure activity relationship of antihistaminic agents i will focus on structure activity relationship of h1 antagonists so first of all we have to understand what is structure activity relationship the structure activity relationship is the relationship between the chemical structure of a molecule and its biological activity the analysis of structure activity relationship enables the determination of the chemical group responsible for evoking a target biological effect in the organism medicinal chemist use the technique of structure activity relationship in chemical synthesis to insert new chemical groups into the biomedical compound and test the modification for their biological effects now i am going to discuss about the structure activity relationship of antihistamine drugs here in this picture you can see the basic structure of antihistamine drugs structural requirements are ar as in substitution ar stands for aryl now aryl substitution can be of phenyl substituted phenyl or hetero aryl group next is ar dash here ar dash stands for second aryl or aryl methyl group third one is x in this case x stands for connecting atom of oxygen carbon or nitrogen next one is ch2 whole n this represents carbon chain the carbon chain used in h1 antihistaminic drugs is usually ethyl next one is n r r dash it can be basic terminal amine functional group next is structure activity relationship of chlorpyrimidine chlorpyrimidine is an h1 antihistamine drug it fulfill all the structural requirements of h1 antihistaminic drugs here in this picture you can see the structure of chlorpyrimidine it contains two aryl substitution this is the first aryl substitution and this one is the second aryl substitution first aryl substitution is aromatic while the second aryl substitution is hetero aryl substitution next is the connecting group which is carbon next is the carbon chain which is ethyl next portion of molecule contains nr r dash substitution which is terminal amine functional group now phenyl substrand at para position replaces with cl to be chlorpyrimidine and with br to be bromopyrimidine here you can see the para position of this ring in this case here you can see cl substitution it means it is chlorpyrimidine if it replaces cl with br then it will become bromopyrimidine 
these halogenated phenamines are more potent and have longer duration of action the agents in this class produce less sedation than the other classical antihistamines in this slide and in the upcoming slide i'm going to discuss about the structural requirements for h1 antihistamine drugs in detail here in this picture you can see the basic structure of h1 antihistamine drugs now in this case as i discussed earlier ar is the aryl substitution we can substitute this position with phenyl substituted phenyl or heteroaryl group for example we can substitute this position with two pyridyl group now two pyridyl is a type of heteroaryl group next position is ar dash and it is a second aryl or aryl methyl group now this diaryl substitution pattern is present in both the first and second generation antihistamines this diaryl substitution is essential for significant h1 receptor affinity so for any drug to be an h1 antihistamine should contain this diaryl substitution next one is a basic terminal amine function group this terminal amine functional group can be a simple dimethyl amino moiety or a heterocyclic structure as illustrated by the piperazine some propyl amines some phenothiazines the dibenzocycloheptenes and the second generation antihistamines next one is x in this structure x is a connecting atom of oxygen carbon or nitrogen the x connecting moiety of typical h1 antagonist may be a saturated carbon oxygen moiety or a simple carbon or nitrogen atom this group along with the carbon chain serve primarily as a spacer group for the key pharmacophoric moieties now here in this picture these are two key pharmacophoric moieties this one is the first moiety and this one is the second moiety now this x and the carbon chain act as an spacer the cs2 whole n group represents a carbon chain which in typical h1 antagonist consists of two or three atoms next i am going to discuss the structure activity relationship of diphenhydramine this is the structure of diphenhydramine the simple diphenyl derivative which is diphenhydramine was the first clinically useful member of the ethanolamine series and it served as the prototype agent in addition to antihistaminic action diphenhydramine exhibits anticholinergic antimatic antitussive and sedative properties other therapeutically useful derivatives of diphenhydramine have been obtained by para substitution of methyl methoxy chloro or bromo of one of the phenyl rings 
अपॉन मेथिल सब्सटूशन इट जनरेट्स मेथिल डाइफिन हाइड्रामीन ऑन मिथॉक्सी सब्सटूशन इट जनरेट्स मेड्रिलमीन ऑन क्लोरो सब्सटूशन इट जनरेट्स क्लोरो डाइफिन हाइड्रामीन एंड ऑन ब्रोमो सब्सटूशन इट जनरेट्स ब्रोमो डाइफिन हाइड्रामीन Now here in this picture you can see if we substitute this position with H it will generate diphen hydramin hydrochloride on substitution with Br it will generate bromo diphen hydramin on chloro substitution it will generate chloro diphen hydramin these derivatives are reported to have superior therapeutic profiles relative to diphen hydramin as a re result of reduced side effects for example bromo diphen hydramine is more lipid soluble and is twice as active as diphen hydramine as an antihistamine so we can conclude here that this position is very important to reduce the side effects of the drug Now replacement of the one of the phenyl rings of the diphenhydramine with a two pyridyl group as in doxylamine and carbenoxamine results in an enhancement of antihistaminic activity two times greater than diphenhydramine. Here you can see the structures of carbenoxamine malate and doxylamine succinate. in these structures the phenyl group is substituted with two pyridyl group this one is two pyridyl group in carbon oxamine and this one is the two pyridyl group in doxylamine succinate now this re replacement results in an enhancement of antihistaminic activity Now next and the last point is diphenyl pyrroline is structurally related to diphenhydramine with the amino alkyl side chain incorporated in piperidine ring it is a potent antihistaminic and the usual dose is 2 mg 3 or 4 times daily this one is the structure of diphenyl pyrroline this one is the structure of diphen hydramine here you can see the amino alkyl side chain incorporated in a piperidine ring thank you